Hello everyone, as Double Nice Festival is coming today, let's talk about some vocabulary about it. Like every other Chinese traditional festival, Double Nice Festival also has a very interesting legend. Um, it is said that in very ancient China, um, there used to be a village. In the village, there is a teenager called Heng Jing. Also, in the village, um, there was a monster that would, uh, would come out and um, give disease to people every year. And unfortunately, Heng Jing's parents were among uh, the victims and they died because of the monster. Therefore, Heng Jing made a decision to um, look for some uh, immortal monster to learn some tricks to kill the monster. And he did find one and uh, the immortal monster told him to use chrysanthemum wine and also dogwood uh, to expel the monster. Also, he taught him a very, very excellent uh, swordsmanship. And uh, Heng Jing, uh, after learning from the immortal monster, he went back to the village and he told his fellow uh, villagers to stand in front of the, uh, the gate of the village and when the monster came, they all drink chrysanthemum wine and also they all um, they were all wearing dogwood and when the monster saw that, that he was terrified and uh, at that moment, Heng Jing went forward and fought courageously with the monster and he eventually won. So after that, year after year, uh, the villagers and also people around um, that area start to drink chrysanthemum wine and also um, to wear dogwood to celebrate Heng Jing's courage. So that is the little story for Double Nights Festival. So let's look at uh, the nine phrases today that we are going to talk about. Um, the first one, we are going to uh, kind of like review how to say uh, date in Chinese, especially when it's in lunar calendar. If you look at <coughs> um, the date, the calendar, Double Nights Festival falls on uh, September 9th, but that's not in solar calendar, that's in lunar calendar. So we need to add the word Nongli. So this word Nongli means lunar calendar. Nong actually means agriculture. Now, as we know, <coughs> the Chinese people are basing their lunar calendar on the, um, the agriculture season, right? So Nongli actually literally means agriculture calendar. 九月初九. <coughs> now here, 月 we know it means months. So the, the nice months, right? So uh, usually we'll say 九号, okay? And <coughs> to indicate the nice day. But here we have this character, 初. <coughs> so if a date is the first 10 day of a month, Instead of say 九号 or 九日, you can say actually 初九. 初 means the beginning of something, okay? The beginning of something. <coughs> 初. So in terms of calendar, it means the first 10 days of a, day, of a month. A month has 30 days, right? So 初九, okay? So from the first to the 10th, you can always you can all say 初一, 初二, 初三, 初四, as fours. Okay? So 初九 means the ninth day of the of September. Okay? So that's one way to say it. Again, you can say 九月九号, or 九月九日, But here, when we talk about traditional things, <coughs> we tend to say with this. So ninth day of the ninth lunar month. How? Uh, let's do an, another practice. For example, Chinese New Year is the first day of the first lunar month, right? So how do we say it? We say nong li. Let me add a pin in here. Nong li. <coughs> we say nong li first. I like English to put the lunar calendar at the end. We say nong li first. Nong li yi yue, January. Chu yi, you can say it this way. Or you can say it Yi hao, yi yue, yi hao, yi yue, yi ri. Okay, so that's another example. The second phrase, 
is the name of the festival, Double Nice Festival. So in English, we say Double Nice. As we know, uh, Chinese has uh, yin and yang, right? The two concepts. Now, uh, when it comes to number, it also has yin number and yang number. Some numbers are good, some numbers are bad. And jiu, which is nine, happens to be a yang number. So uh, when we say Double Nice Festival, in Chinese, we call it Double Yang Festival, okay? So Chong means double, okay? Well, it also has another pronunciation, which is Zhong. Zhong means heavy. That meaning, that pronunciation is <coughs> used uh, more commonly, but uh, it means Chong, okay? Uh, it, it means uh, to repeat or to double. So Chong Yang, double, Yang festival, double nice festival. So it's a little bit tricky in terms of the name, okay? Naming in English and in Chinese. Okay, so Chong Yang Jie, Chong Yang Jie, Chong Yang Jie. Next one. Um, so in uh, uh, about two or three decades ago, okay, the Chinese government have decided that Chong Yang Jie should be a day also for the seniors, okay, in China. So uh, they gave it another name, which is Jing Lao Yu. Jing Lao Yu, okay, Jing Lao Yu. I'm gonna write the pinyin here. Jing Lao Yu, Jing Lao Yu, Seniors Day, okay. So Jing, Jing means to respect. It's part of the phrase Zun Jing, Zun Jing. Okay, so this word means to respect. Lao is old here to represent the senior seniors. Okay, so Jing Lao, Zun Jing, Lao Ren. That's the complete phrase. Okay, to respect old day. So there are two ways to form a festival, right? At the end, one way you can say Jie, one way you can say Yu. Usually they are not interchangeable. You just have to remember it case by case. So. Jing Lao Yu, oh, that's for senior day, okay? So you should know that Double Nice Festival has two names. Next one, number four. So Jing Lao Yu, let's talk about the polite way or correct way, right? Um, since we are talking about Double Nice Festival and it's a day for seniors, let's talk about the respectful way to call senior citizens in China. So for senior citizen, we have, of course, you, we will have this character, right? Lao means old. Nian, Nian is year, okay? So again, age related. And then we add Ren, Lao Nian Ren is a very, very respect, respectful word for senior <coughs> people. So Lao Nian Ren, next time if you want to address, okay, a group of people that is with high age, then you should just call them Lao Nian Ren, okay? And they will not be offended, I, I, I promise you. Okay, so um, that is a term for senior citizen, okay? And um, number five, Ju Hua. So <coughs> in the story, right, I just told, we mentioned that Hang Jing uh, got the tip from the immortal master that they should drink chrysanthemum wine. Uh, so here, chrysanthemum in Chinese is Ju Hua. Hua is flower, okay? Hua is flower. So what kind of flower? Usually we add a modifier before it. <coughs> Another example will be um, Mei Gui Hua. Mei Gui is rose, okay? So we say Mei Gui Hua is rose flower, <coughs> okay? So Ju Hua, Ju is uh, chrysanthemum. So Ju Hua, <coughs> chrysanthemum, Ju Hua. Next one, um, Shang Qiu, appreciate the fall. So let's review. I'm sure most of you have already know how to say fall or autumn in Chinese, which is Qiu Tian, Qiu Tian, Qiu Tian. The four seasons are, are, are formed this way, right? You add a modifier and then you say Tian to indicate it's a season. So Qiu Tian is fall, okay? So here we only take the first <coughs> character and then we say shang. What is shang? Shang is short for xin shang. Xin shang. Xin shang. Xin shang means to appreciate. Okay, to appreciate. Now to appreciate the fall, <coughs> we took one character from each phrase. So originally the phrase is xin shang qiu tian. Okay, xin shang qiu tian. Now 
you can replace Qiu with other nouns. If it's a Mid Autumn Festival, Zhongqiujie, you can say Shang Yue Yue Moon, right? Shang Yue to appreciate the moon. Or for a Double Nice Festival, right? People appreciate the fall because it's fall fall season, and people also specifically appreciate the chrysanthemum, right? So you can say Shang Ju Shang Ju or Shang Ju Hua. Okay, if you say the complete word, it's not wrong. Okay, it's not wrong. You can all you can be um very uh concise. Okay, like this one, just say one character. Shang Ju, Shang Ju. Okay, there you go. Okay, you learned how to shorten a phrase to make it more authentic. <coughs> Now number seven, uh, another tradition we mentioned is to wear uh doglet. <coughs> if you don't know what is doglet. Just Google it, right? It uh in Chinese dog it looks a little bit different than what you uh normally see in the Western culture. Um, dog wood comes with kind of like a red like fruit, okay, but with very very green leaves. So uh, it's very pretty, okay. You just wear them in your <coughs> with your on your clothes or in your hair. And uh, wearing dog wood here. This first character cha is actually not to wear; it means、um, to insert. Now, why would people do that? Because in ancient、um, China, there is a very famous poem、uh, with the last line saying "bian cha zhu yu shao yi ren." The poem is about Double Nice Festival, and the last line is about、uh, people wearing okay dogwood on their clothes, and、uh, that poet used the verb cha. Instead of、uh, other verbs that they can indicate to wear, like pay or die, so it becomes a famous、uh, phrase. So people kind of like just keep it that way. Cha zhu yu, but you should know that this means to insert, not to wear.、Uh, it comes from a literature literature term. Okay, and cha zhu yu, zhu yu, dog wood. Okay, <coughs> number eight. Uh, one of the famous activities or traditions in Double Nice Festival is that people like to go hiking.、Uh, it's a great weather in fall to do that, right? And people believe that the higher they go and uh, the uh, the less the, the the safer they are. Okay, so that's in ancient times, right? When there are still like monsters or like a, like evil spirits. And so people go high, okay, to avoid those things. So、uh, later on, it becomes a tradition for people to go hiking or climbing mountains、uh, during the fall season, especially on this day. And the deng gao deng, okay, is the action of going、uh, ascend to ascend, okay. Gao, okay, means tall or high.、Um, we can also say pa shan, okay, pa shan, pa shan pa. Okay, it's the action to climb. Shan is mountain. Pa shan. So this one is more common, climbing mountains. Then this one is again a little bit literature word. Okay, deng gao. Okay. Um, number eight, number nine, last word, chong yang gao. Chong yang gao. You can just simply say chong yang cake. It is a、uh, cake、uh, eaten in certain、uh, areas in China. We are.、Uh, In my hometown, we don't really celebrate Double Nice Festival a lot, but we talk about it, and we certainly don't eat Chongyang cake. Okay, so、um, in some Chinese、uh, areas, I believe they do, and、uh, this is just one of the the dessert, very famous、uh, festival dessert, Chongyang cake. Gao means cake. Okay, and we have a phrase, 生日蛋糕生日蛋糕生日蛋糕 <coughs> and it means birthday cake. Birthday cake, okay. That means egg. So <coughs> when it's other types of cake, you don't have to say 蛋糕 just say 糕 okay. So that is all for today's lesson. We talk about nine vocabulary about Double Nice Festival. Why nine? Because it's double nice festival. All right, I will see you tomorrow.